Just when you thought the Giants-Bills game was huge and important, something completely eclipses it. In fact, that Kevin Everett, who suffered what appeared to be a paralyzing injury in week one of the NFL season, arrived for the week 16 home date and walked. And walked. Bless him. Into the building. Wow. Amen. So that's great to see. As for the game that he saw, Tom Coughlin in wet, occasionally snowy, inclement weather. Brent Edwards already up 7-0 and then this game finds Roscoe Parrish laying out. Roscoe normally known for his punt return abilities, but he does possess the ability to get deep. And then the next play, Edwards to Lee Evans. Buffalo on top, 14-0. So many people thought the Giants were uh, slip sliding away. Another second, half. Nice. Oh, oh, wait a second. He lost him on top of that route. And Easy. Lee Evans putting the Bills up 14-0. Certainly didn't do anything to dispel the notion yeah. of the Giants being on a swoon. But this Kick changed it. the momentum of the game. A poor snap on a punt, and Brian Mormon can't get the punt away. And old Mo begins to wear a white shirt in this game as the uh, rain and snow begins to come down, and the cheerleaders are going. They don't want it. They don't, they want, don't it. want it more. Oh, but they come go. back. Oh, okay, they do. They want it. In ponchos. Cheerleaders in ponchos. That's hot. <laughs> and then Eli Manning <laughs> finds Imani Tumor. And two plays later, Brandon Jacobs, ponchos. We don't need no and stinking ponchos. Hot. You want Eli Get to be successful, have him hand the ball off. <laughs> Is that your analysis right there? Yes. Jason Peters' Pro Bowl tackle goes down on the next possession for Buffalo. So uh, he goes down, and then the Giants begin their comeback again with this moment when okay. Jeff Beagle's punting away is roughed by Dante Whitner, an easy flag for hey. the refs to toss as the helmet met with inside left thigh. And then the Giants would turn that into points with Brandon Jacobs there running it in from again. 43 yards out. The run game all day for the Giants was the difference maker. Give it to that guy. Tied at 14 now. Giants are up 17-14 in the first play of the second half. Disastrous for Eli Manning. Ball pops up in the air. Keith Ellison picks it off after Jabari Greer deflected it. And then Marshawn Lynch, the rookie, with a 28-yard scamper. The very next play, they handed it off to Marshawn Lynch. Look at, Buffalo the on top. Look at the speed to the outside. Nobody's going to catch him. Inside the pylon he goes. <laughs> 21 to 17. That's the key is to go inside. Yeah, inside the pylon. You're going to have to coach us up on that later. Ensuing for Giants possession. Here comes Brandon Jacobs again, but he comes up gimpy. So now here comes the seventh round draft pick rookie from Marshall, Ahmad Bradshaw. Not to know, worry. Of course, that that's a problem, except for the fact it isn't. Wow, he goes seemingly in the end zone, but the refs say great his call. knee comes down, and that's that is true. Great call. Not it's where the ball is when the knee goes down. In the end zone, and that's a crucial call because a goal line stand ensued. John McCargo pops Ruben Drones for a loss of four on fourth and one, and the Giants come away with nothing. Fourth quarter, Buffalo still on top, 21-17, and then the ball's put on the turf. Just coming after the timeout, disappointing play. Ensuing possession for Buffalo, though, they give it right back. Oh, boy. It's Kavika Mitchell off the tip drill, 20 yards to the house. Touchdown, Giants back on top by three. Great pass. Hit him right in the chest with the ball, and the defense made the play. And the pick six brought down Snow. Look at that coming down. Three possessions later for the Giants. It's Ahmad Bradshaw and the Snow Flurries with a flurry of yards. See ya. 88 yards, longest run in the NFL all season. The rookie from Marshall looking like Marshall Falk. Got a funny feeling Brandon Jacobs is getting healthy on the sideline right now. <laughs> Strange feeling. 291 rushing yards by the Giants earns Tom Coughlin a playoff berth and a cold, very cold Gatorade shower. So the Giants clinch the five seed in the NFC playoffs with a big win in Buffalo to go to the playoffs for the embattled Tom Coughlin.